find out the grand prize winner of Art Prize 7 for both the public and the jurors. But beyond the winners, there's a lot you can still check out this weekend. Our prize runs through Sunday. This morning, 24-hour news aides Amanda Jarrett joins us in our grand series of a West Michigan artist with an amazing story. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Emily. That's right. If you check out our prize this weekend, you can see the photography work of an 18-year-old from Galesburg. It's not just her photos her family wants you to see. They hope her life behind the lens will inspire others. You're looking at the world through the eyes of Madeline Martin. Beautiful bursts of color and many tiny details. Madeline has autism. She also has mitochondrial disease, a progressive neuromuscular disease that doesn't give her body the energy it needs. There's no cure, but even with IVs and a decade or more of doctors, it hasn't stopped Madeline from capturing everything around her through her photography. It's whatever you want to do as possible. I'm very stubborn and determined to keep living my life. Madeline's art prize piece is a nod to her mitochondrial disease with shades of green. The black and white represents her diagnosis. And all of the canvases represent the puzzle pieces of autism, all carefully chosen and placed to send a message to other families who have special needs. It gives a lot of hope and it shows that there is a lot of life that continues to be lived every single day in and amongst the hard. It was Madeline's photography that led to a breakthrough in her own family. It gave us the greatest understanding into her mind and how she thought and why the world around her was often so difficult to um, navigate because she saw so much minute detail in the world around her and um, needed to process all of that information. Madeline's been sharing her world ever since through cards and prints. A store is already signed on to sell her prints. For Madeline, it's about being outside, enjoying every moment. On the fact that God kept me alive yes. to do it. Madeline is also showing her work at the Van Single Fine Arts Center and Byron Center. All proceeds from those prints will go towards an advocacy group for families with mitochondrial disease. Now, any other money they get from her work will go towards a transport van and a stair lift for both Madeline and her brother, who also has mitochondrial disease. You can see her art prize piece at the Boardwalk Condos this weekend. Oh, I'd love to see that up close and personal. It looks beautiful. Gorgeous All the photos. detail. Yeah. Yes. She really has a, a great eye for photography. No formal training. She just picked up the family's camera at age 11, started snapping photos, and hasn't stopped. Nice. What a great story. And now helping others through that. Absolutely. She is so positive and just a great girl. Fantastic. Thanks, Amanda.